Dean, KK4DAS here. So I'm taking another stab at the low pass filter board of my uh, Homebrew SBITX transceiver. In the last couple of videos I've shown that the um, relays that control the which filter is selected in um, sometimes they're turning on when they're not supposed to. I put LEDs on here and when I'm in transmit only one LED at a time should light up but what I found is even after a bunch of different circuit options at higher frequencies I'm getting enough induced um, energy into the um, circuit from the RF that's going through this that um, the LEDs were flickering, which indicates that the transistors that control the LEDs were conducting when they weren't supposed to. And sometimes that would result in a relay turning on that wasn't supposed to, and so I'd have more than one relay in the circuit, and then things wouldn't work right. So, the latest change is I took these uh, TIP 110 transistors out, and I replaced them with two N7000 MOSFETs. And the additional change I made is I added a cap to ground where the MOSFET drain connects to the coil. Because my suspicion is the coil is picking up the RF. And um, hopefully that's going to be enough to clear up the problem. The proof will be when I go into transmit, only one uh, LED should come on at a time. So I'm testing here at uh, 10 meters, uh, full power. And... I will send a CQ and we'll see what happens. So that looks good. Only the one band uh, LED is on. None of the other LEDs are flickering. So it seems like the combination of the 2N7000 and the bypass cap worked. I think the bypass cap was the bigger um, Solution. I don't think the 2N7000 has made that much difference, but they made the circuit a little simpler than I had before. So um, I'm going to test on other bands, but as of right now, I think I got it.